Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-October 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Before I get started, Cancer, um, I am doing a giveaway for the Casanova Tarot deck. I am extending the deadline to enter to November 1st. I've been getting a lot of messages talking about late entries and everything like that. So guys, I am extending the deadline. Um, if you want to take a look to see how you can win this deck for yourself, go ahead and check the description box. Alright Cancer, this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Cancer. This isn't going to resonate with every single Cancer because the messages that are said during these readings are the ones that people need to hear the most. If this doesn't resonate with you Cancer, I suggest checking your Rising, Moon, and Venus signs because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more than your Sun sign at this time. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in the Cancer. Just Cancers and Cross Watchers, please keep in mind that I'm picking up on both energies during this reading. So if I'm saying a certain situation or a scenario where you feel like the roles should be reversed, please go ahead and feel free to re reverse the roles. Um, you know, Cancer, <laughs> this is a Cancer reading, so I will make Cancer the main subject of the reading. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us. When I'm saying masculine or feminines during the reading, if I say it at all, I'm referring to the energies, not the sex or the gender. All right, so let's get started, Cancer. So this is a spread I'm going to use um, for so how someone feels about you that they may not be communicating at this time, how they feel about you, what they think about you, um, what they like about you, what they don't, what they like about the relationship or the connection and what they don't and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are. Um, this could pertain to you if you're a single, if you're in a relationship with someone. It's just whatever they may not be communicating to you at this time that you're kind of worrying about, all right? Let's get started. Alright Cancer, just to get this out of the way, um, I'm feeling a very, very strong worried energy here. I don't know if it's you Cancer, I'm feeling like it's the other person since this is what the spread is going to be about. Um, someone's really stressing out here, really worried. I don't know if you guys are in no communication right now or if you guys just recently ended things or what. If there's some suspicion of some sort, I'm not really sure, but I'm getting a lot of anxiousness is really what I'm feeling right now like even my hands are kind of shaking um so yeah someone's worried here someone's worried I'm hearing like almost like did I lose you did I lose you forever or did I lose you for good I don't know let's let's see what this is cancer Angels, spirits, and guides, how does this person feel about cancer at this time? That could just be a message for someone. The spread could be totally different, but someone definitely need to hear that. Or that's just a confirmation for someone. Ooh. Alright, let's get it started. Ooh, cancer. Sorry, this card fell on the ground. Okay. Oh yeah, someone has something to be worried about. Ooh. Wow. Okay, Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, I see why I was feeling that anxiousness. Um, someone is really stuck here. Someone feels as if they're trying to reach out to you maybe or they really want to reach out to you but either you literally block them on social media or you cut a cord recently um or cut any connection to them they feel like they just cannot they're stuck they're completely stuck cancer they're stuck thinking about you they're stuck um wishing for you they're they're you know wow cancer i'm almost feeling like 
a lot of you recently, and it's kind of similar to the last reading, so I don't know if you guys listened to the beginning of the October reading, but go ahead and check it out, but it's like as if something ended, and the cancers I was connecting with in the last reading did a lot of healing, and they're, they evolved and grew, and almost as if now I'm connecting with this other side, again, this could be cancer, Crosswatcher, keep that in mind, but this other side now, it's as if they realized what happened. They realized what they, what losing you meant for them. They're completely stuck. They're unable to move forward. They really want to reach out to you, but they feel like they can't. Whether that's literally because you literally blocked them, or if it's because I'm getting like ashamed. I'm getting regret or they just can't see how what anything they could do can make you feel that way about them again that you may have felt for them in the past i really want to clarify this two of swords or as if cancer it's like maybe they feel like you know i i Almost as if this person may have come in and out of your life before. And now that they're maybe they tried to reach out to you again. They saw that they're blocked or they're trying to message you and you don't respond. Or you're not, you respond with like one word sentences or one word, one word period. Um, they're realizing like the energy is not the same. And it's making them worry. It's making them anxious. And literally they're stuck. Cancer, I'm feeling that. They're stuck. Why is the Two of Swords in the background energy? Oh my god, I'm seeing a broom. <laughs> okay, you guys literally could have swept this person like out the door, swept him out of your life. You did some of you maybe are cleaning while you're watching this video or you're you cleaned your house recently. But you just cleared your energy, you cleared your space. And this person's realizing they were part of the clutter that you cleared out. And they're not liking it, Cancer. I don't I feel like they don't want to they don't want to be, you know, left out the door. Okay. Wow, so we have the Knight of Swords and the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with an air sign um, or dealt with, <laughs> seriously, quite frankly, um, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Cancer, they're stuck with not knowing what to do. They want to rush in. They want to put an end to this. Um, uh, like, they want to put an end to the end. Like they don't, if that makes any sense, as if like they, they don't want this to end. They don't want this to, it's almost as if now that you're gone, they're seeing now what their stubbornness, what they're unwilling to open up, what they were unwilling to express really detrimented them. A lot of them, I'm almost getting, again, like that knight, ooh, sorry, that knight of swords energy, like that anxiousness, that needing to rush in, needing to say, needing to speak, but then again, unwilling to, unable to, more importantly. I almost feel like this person was really good with their words, um, you know, really charming when they wanted to be, really, you know... I honestly, I'm not getting the best energy from this. Almost as if it's like when they decided to talk to you, when they decided to finally reach back into your life, it's almost as if they expected you to still be waiting. They expected you to never close your door on them, that they will always be there. And now that all of a sudden the door is closed, that's when they get upset. Um, now they want to reveal everything that they feel about you. Like the Emperor, 
um, you know, this way, it's kind of like someone who likes to take charge, someone who likes to um, plan, someone who has a lot of passion for things, worked really hard, um, but maybe as if they have more to do, more to pursue that they don't really express. A lot of the work has already been done but with it this way it's as if they're now kind of seeing they're looking towards the Sun the positivity you brought in their life um, they're realizing that when they restricted themselves when they almost I'm getting this feeling of entitlement as to you know they didn't think they had to put that much work into it because you would always be there and now that you're not, now that you block this, now that you're not receiving whatever they have to say anymore, they can't, uh, almost cancer for some of you, I just feel like this person, it, or at least it felt this way for some of you, it's as if they just wanted to, they find, they're very physically attracted to you, it's almost as if they just, they like, I'm almost getting this energy of talking in your pants type of thing like always there for the good times all right like the um times when you fed their ego the times when you gave them that bomb sex that time when you gave them that bomb conversation that um it, it, they're freaking out okay like it, it's like almost overwhelming what i'm kind of feeling from this and again sorry i just have to point out we have the emperor at the bottom too some of you could definitely be dealing with again an Aries or someone that's older than you maybe or someone who just likes to be in control someone who likes to have things done their way at their time and if one thing goes out of their schedule or if something was unplanned in their routine they freak the hell out and they didn't expect you to close this door on them so now almost in another way I'm getting as if they're they're waiting they want to reach out they want to say hey what's going on you're not here anymore when i need you um i'm feeling like almost this like planning Th they want to make sure that when they come forward to you this is um, as much as they want to rush in and say everything they have to say but they know and they're thinking of the best way to do it because they know you're not playing around they know you're they know you're not going to receive whatever they just have to say and again, a lot of you didn't close this person out. How they feel about you. The Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. Um, also for me as a reader, Capricorn. You could be dealing with one of the signs. Capricorn's here twice. Um, but really, there's a couple things I'm getting from this. Cancer, for some of you, I feel like they want to take this to another level, but it's kind of as if, is it what? Like now you're willing to give a commitment? Now you're wanting to open up and um, provide your loyalty and show your dedication and whatever? It's as if you, I don't, I'm getting this like, with the Hierophant, sometimes I get this feeling of egoism in a way where, and it's not so great aspects, it's like as if someone who's taken their power too far to where um, they're using it for the wrong reasons. And I feel like Cancer being with you or having you as in their life at all when you provided for them, when you cared for them, when you tried to make things work with them, it's almost as if they felt this sort of superiority. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I don't diagnose anything, but really from this reading I'm kind of getting a very, a, a, a big narcissistic type of energy um, right now. Again, it could be vice versa this could be the cancer you're dealing with but it's almost as if from all the cards i'm seeing here 
they're upset that they didn't win their game. And when you left, when you blocked, it's as if now they they don't feel that same high anymore. They don't feel that superiority, um, that influence that they may have felt like they had over you. Others of you, yeah, this is someone who does now want a commitment. Now that you close the door, now that they don't feel your energy anymore in their lives, now that you, you know, when a cancer pulls back, they pull back. I mean, it's night and day with a cancer. Once you kind of, um, you know, show a cancer that you're not giving what they give, it's done. And they're feeling it. They're feeling that not only is your presence physically not there, your energy is not there. You pulled out in a complete 180. Because the Hierophant is also a very spiritual card. They had a very energetic connection with you. And I think they were relying on that. And they want that again. They want to maintain that connection. They want to maintain that control. It's not, you know, I usually don't get this feeling with the Hierophant, but I'm really feeling that right now, Cancer. Or Crosswatcher. It's almost as if they felt like they had a strong influence on you and now it's not there anymore interesting I kind of want to clarify that as well why is the hierophant here oh yeah so for a lot of you it, it, it is a commitment that they want Okay, for some cancers, I do have to say, um, there can be some, this could be someone from your past past, okay? Like someone who you dealt with a while back, maybe a year ago even, more than that even, and they still think about you to this day. And they may have seen that you are now involved with someone else in a steady long-term commitment with someone else. Some of you are even getting married to someone else or already married to someone else. And they feel like they missed out on that opportunity with you. That's for a small amount of you, okay? Others of you, they, they want this commitment. They want this structure. They want this opportunity to really build on something with you and to really commit but I just can't help but feel like this is just a fantasy in them because it's almost as if from all the other cards I'm seeing why didn't they do this before I'm also hearing Sagittarius and temperance is here but I was looking at this guy I don't know why, because I think it's a, oh, I don't know, centaur or something like that. Um, and to me, it just rings Sagittarius. You could have that in your chart. You could have, this person could be a Sagittarius or have Sag in their chart. And I'm also getting some sort of thing where they may have taken you to a winery or wine tasting. Um, or maybe you're in like the wine business or you really enjoy wine. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, this is, let, let's just continue. Um, what they think about you, the Nine of Cups in reverse. They don't see wish fulfillment here. They feel like almost as if their opportunities are turned down. I really do feel like this person may have tried to reach out to you or will reach out to you soon. Um. and try to make things great again to almost try to like get you back on their side cancer or get you back into feeling the way you felt before before you close them out before you decluttered them um they're really seeing that they they think that they missed out on an opportunity absolutely they miss out on 
I don't know. I'm getting cooking for some reason. Whining and dining. Like, wow, Cancer. Um, like, you were a really good cook. They miss your meals that you cooked for them. Or you are baked for some of you. Like, you made their favorite dessert all the time. And it's like, damn. I don't know why I'm hearing chocolate chip cookies. I know. Um, really randomly I heard that. So I don't know if that resonates with someone. But it's as if they could have had the what they saw was the perfect husband the perfect wife and things just didn't work out again what you guys know your situation better than i do but opportunities were missed absolutely and they feel like right now that you're not going to be willing to give them that wish that they have to proceed further with you to grow further with you, to make a commitment with you, that you're just gonna flat out reject them. And it's gonna crush their wish, it's gonna crush their dream of being with you. Like they think about you a lot, borderline obsessed, Cancer. And I say that because what they like the most is the devil about you. So you could have Capricorn in your chart, you could have a Capricorn rising, um, or they can. But, first of all, Cancer, from the beginning of this, I got a very strong, like even when I said talk into your pants type of thing, like they just find you very sexually attractive. Um, they have a strong, so strong sexual urge for you that makes them feel pretty naughty, okay? Um, Cancer, seriously? Um... For some, and I think a lot of you are aware of this, and some of you will even be surprised by this. There's a strong, like, I think they look at your page, Instagram, Facebook, like, not just, like, checking it once a day, but, like, checking to see who you're following, who you're unfollowing, um, who you're commenting on, what you're looking up, um, who you're adding, who you're, you know, serious shit. And I almost feel like to, to the point where they're even like putting on like a different facade of making fake profiles to add you. I'm um, trying to talk to you through a fake profile. So I'd be really, really careful of that. And, they, and that may be another way of them trying to trick you or trying to manipulate you, Cancer. Um, I'm just getting this feeling that like they have like plans that are not for your good. And that they almost are like, <sighs> it's almost as if they're trying to put on their best face without you seeing the shadow in them that you're very well aware of. They don't realize that you, you know who they are. They've shown their colors to you. They can't fool you anymore. But they don't realize that yet. They don't see that yet. Even though, like, for some of you, are like, well, damn, I blocked them. Isn't that giving them enough of a message? No, I really don't feel like it is. Their favorite color could have been purple, or that's your favorite color for some of you. Um, but yeah, Cancer, they're trying to make, like, a pretty bow on what they're presenting themselves, but really it's horns. I, I'm, like... So, besides the fact that they're very sexually attracted to you, um, they almost feel like before they could have manipulated you into seeing a better side of themselves and who they really were. And I feel like for some reason they still feel like they can do that, but they can't. Okay, I don't know, this is so random, but I feel like for some of you Cancers, um, this person feels, <laughs> you may have noticed or this person feels like they know that their boobs are sagging. I, I don't, I just have to say it. I don't know. That's a message for someone. Okay. And they're a bit self-conscious about that. Okay. Moving on. What they don't like is the three of wands. Cancer, if you did move on with someone else, if you are happy with someone else, 
if you did manifest a better, healthier connection in your life, they are despising it. They can't stand that you have received your manifestations with someone else while they're still waiting on a chance with you. I'm almost getting an energy of like literally you guys may have posted something on your story with like being with maybe it was even just a friend it wasn't even someone that um you're like dating and they just like messaged you dm'd you like who is that or like you know or almost as if like then they started talking to you trying to put up a random conversation like how's the weather it's like i know you're not just asking me what the goddamn weather is you know kind of that energy I'm going to have to clarify this Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for what they don't like about Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Why is the Three of Wands here for what they don't like about Cancer? Yeah, okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Um... Yeah, because Cancer, you realize that you could fall, you can manifest your own happiness without this person. That you have everything that you need. Spirits with you, the universe is with you. They have your back. Um, you're the one with the golden egg. You're the one that has. A, you guys are very, and it could be with the full moon in Aries that we just had too. Um, that's inspiring this change, that's inspiring this passion to receive more, to put yourself out there, whether it's career, whether it's with other people. Um, you're realizing that you have that power within yourself that maybe you didn't realize before. Um, you know, I think it's like as if almost for some of you, you're seeing that you were, this person may have withdrawn you or alienated you from your friends, from your family members. And for a while you felt like you were alone. For a while you felt like, um, you know, maybe you lost some connections because of this person. But then you saw people, once you left this person or whoever, whatever this connection is, you started to see these people return to your life. Um, being like, you know what, Cancer, like, or Crosswatcher, we, we saw what you went through. We were always here for you. We have your back. And we'll help you. We will help you again with whatever you want to manifest in your life. And this could be a new lover too. That you're now seeing the light with them. That you didn't see with this person from before. And I feel like they see your advancement. They see your growth. They see that this fortune is coming to you. And it's without them. And that's what's making them so upset. That's what's making them so hurt. And I almost feel like this connection brought you guys closer to your intuition. Not because, you know, you had to go through pain just to learn anything, but because you really started to trust yourself and not so much other people. You stopped believing what everyone had to say to you because of this person. And you realized, you know, I, I don't need to rely on others or the affirmations of others. I have it within me. And I can manifest and create and bring in what I want without anyone else. Sure, people are there to help me. People are there to provide me support. But really, it's within me to go out there and achieve what I want. And I almost feel like this person for a while just made you think or wanted you to think, wanted you to believe that you couldn't do anything without them. It's a, it's, it's not a great energy, Cancer. <sighs> what they like the most about this is temperance. Cancer, again, I just feel like with this temperance card of what they like the most about the connection is that with all the imbalance that they may have had within themselves, again, this person may have wanted you to rely on external validation because that's what they rely on. They, again, when I was saying with that Hierophant card earlier, they got some sort of um, fuel from 
you, from you being there to care for them, to, um, you know, pr you, you almost as if they feel like cancer, you were this like calming, I almost want to say angelic type of energy that you brought to them. But instead of them using, again, Cancer or Crosswatcher, instead of them using that um, gentleness that you gave, that caring that you gave, that love, it, they used it just to only feel themselves, only to, to excel themselves and not excel the both of you, not excel the relationship. I'm almost feeling like Cancer, Crosswatcher, this connection, you know, they feel like it was divinely guided and it could have been. It could have been. I feel like there is a strong karmic connection here that lessons needed to be learned on both ends. Whether this person's really going to take their lesson and move forward with it, I can't really say. But... I almost feel like the divine, the universe wanted to show you the worth that you may have not have known within yourself. And you had to go through this pain, you had to go through this heartbreak to really, again, see the power that you had within you. A lot of you are very close with your angels, very close with your guides at this time. And during the time of when you were going through this connection with this person, and when you pulled away that energy, they, they, there was no more light. And that's what feeds them is the light that you give, the light that is in this connection, is through you. I'm seeing a fountain. Um, I don't know if this is a fountain at a park you live by, or a fountain that um, is at your house. Maybe something happened at a water fountain. Or maybe you've been seeing this fountain lately. I'm not sure. That, that will resonate with someone. But yeah, again, it's as if now they're just left to just dream about what they once had with you. Dreamt about, you know, the light that was... When you guys were together, it was everything that they wanted everything that they feel like again cancer this person whether they took advantage of you or not um whatever the case is they feel like you were meant to be in their life and that this was somehow destined that you were destined for them and they think about that a lot Again, that's why I feel like that worry is so dominant here. What they don't like, Three of Cups. There's a couple of energies I'm picking up on here. Some of you, that you're enjoying life. That you moved on. That you reconnected with people that you may have alienated from yourself before. That maybe you're just dating. You're just having fun. Um, you know, not just... People, sometimes when I say that on this channel, they're like, I'm not fucking everyone. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like taking your time, getting to know other people, taking things slow, um, you know, getting to meet other people before you really start anything again. But Cancer, honestly, I'm feeling like you're doing a lot. You're doing really well right now. You're living a, your best life for some of you. I don't know if this will resonate with someone, but I feel like someone just got like new sheets or new comforters on their bed and they're really comfy. Maybe it's because like some parts of the world it's winter time, so you got like a new duvet or duvet, um, a new, you know, white puffy blanket, a white fluffy blanket, I don't know, maybe a pillow. But I really feel like cancer, you're just having, what they don't like is that you're having a lot more fun without them. 
some of you with like literally what they feel like is other people. I don't, Cancer, for some of you, they miss smacking your ass and they miss biting your lip. I don't know what I'm getting at. Or maybe you did that to them, Cancer. I don't know. Their highest hopes, Ace of Cups, the beginning of love, a new start to a new, I'm hearing a new cycle, so that's not good. Again, this is just certain energy I'm picking up on. If it's not your story, it's not your story. I'm sorry. I feel like this person confuses sex and love a lot. Because as much as I'm seeing this cup, I'm really drawn to this. And to me, that looks like a dick. So whether this person has a dick or not, I just feel like they have a strong... They... A hard on for you. Again... I don't want to talk about the female anatomy, but it works that way too. Um, they, but it's almost as if they just think that like sex is enough or the sexual connection that you two have that's very strong or how they feel towards you is enough. Or as if they just want to put it out again with that pretty bow on the package of being like, I'll love you, I'll marry you, we'll have this romantic thing. And then it's really like what they think of that is just you know, having this strong sexual connection and there's more to it than that. There's more to love than just having great sex or to be very strongly sexually attracted to someone. Like almost as if they want like putting the water under the bridge type of thing. Like let's just leave the past in the past. Look, I did that. I li look, I did this. I'm sorry. I want this with you. Some of them may actually be genuine. A very small amount, honestly. But it's cancer. It's for you to s decide if you want this again. Um, you could be dealing with another water sign. You could be dealing with a fellow cancer even. Or Scorpio or Pisces. Deepest fear is, interestingly enough, the Ace of Pentacles. I think cancer, it's sometimes, and I agree, a lot of readers see the Ace of Pentacles as like a um, pentacles and for a lot of readers there's like energy right because energy is somewhat uh, what you put into the physical world to get out of it and ace of pentacles could be this like energy lift this block this block that has been lifted that can bring you to a new more valuable beginning for yourself and I feel like cancer they're afraid that you're the one that got away you're the one that broke free. You're the one that started a new, for some of you, started a brand new relationship, a new relationship, a new opportunity, a new job opportunity. Any means to break free from this person. Some of you, I don't know why I'm like hearing capital, like you moved to the capital of a city, or I'm um, sorry, capital of a country, capital of a state somewhere or you're from this capital um but i'm really feeling like for a lot of you this is you that's finally started a new beginning for yourself a new era for yourself a new opportunity that's a lot more valuable than what someone else whoever this is provided for you you're finally free and that's their biggest fear Others of you, you could be engaged with someone else or you're getting married to someone else or you're married to someone else. And they're afraid that, you know, that's the only commitment you'll ever have again is to that person. For a lot of you, it is. You could be involved now with the earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. All right, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended version. We're going to see the likely outcome of this connection and any advice for you moving into November. But before we go, I will pull a card from this Oracle deck, the Romance Angels Oracle deck, and see how they feel about you, what they feel this connection is between the two of you that they may not be saying, or straight up you won't let them say. I really do feel like a lot of you have this person blocked. 
or vice versa, whatever the case is. They have you blocked maybe out of a thing of pride. I don't know, we'll see. How does this person feel about cancer? Oh shit. Cancer. Wedding. Okay. Um, so yeah, some of you definitely are getting married to someone else strongly. You, some of you, if you guys are married to this person, um, I can see why the worried and the anxiousness was there. Um, others of you, they really may be thinking of proposing to you or wanting a, again, with the, a stronger commitment with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands, but is it too little too late? And others of you, literally, they just daydream of being with you, being married to you, having kids with you, having a family, a long-term whole nine yards all right so take what resonates all right cancer we'll go ahead and take this to the extended version if you want to see how you can win the casanova tarot deck for yourself go ahead and check the description box please comment like share and subscribe this if this resonated with you and go ahead and join me on vimeo if you want to see the extended i love you cancer so much and i wish you all the best take care